Hey, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another exciting adventure. This is TJ with the Adventure Channel. Angelica is out for the night, but she will be back with some more exciting tutorials and travel tips and techniques. However, so um, I've been doing a lot of videos recently on the whole housing is key with the California State Moratorium. I've been doing several videos. This isn't my uh full expertise but you guys know as I've, as i've said before if i am knowledgeable about something i definitely love to pass along information so as you guys know i'm usually in touch with housing is keys assisting people usually about two or three different times a week and what they informed me of about a week and a half or so ago i made a video last week but i wanted to present some additional information to all of you they said some things that were kind of concerning. And what I mean by concerning is we're all under the impression that housing is key is going to pay our rent, that they're going to pay the utilities whenever they decide to get around to that. But there were a lot of legal gray areas and questions that they didn't want to really mention. Now, again, I've only talked about two or three different reps. Um, I haven't talked to the CEO, president, or whoever's in charge of the actual program. But uh, just to kind of recap really quick, the Housing is Key program is currently offered in California, and they do offer 15 months of assistance. And so um, I did promise you guys I was going to find that information. Still haven't found it. I do know a friend of mine actually saw it. It is in the paperwork somewhere in the fine print. And, of course, they did verify that with me. But in today's video, I definitely want to. I want all of you to listen in to this conversation that I had with this uh, one of the representatives. Uh, we spoke for about a good 15 minutes, but I only captured about four minutes of the actual conversation uh, with their consent. And so... With that being said, one of the things that definitely concerned me was when it came to paying rent or them paying the funds on my uh, client's behalf or others' behalf out there in the community, uh, they really didn't want to touch on that area considering that the moratorium ends at the end of September, which was kind of odd. And most of us who have been doing videos on the whole Housing is Key program, we've been like, yeah, you know, you fill out your form with Housing is Key, they'll take care of it or not. But one of the questions that I did ask them was, well, how does this go into effect if September 30th is coming around, there's a moratorium, everybody's protected, but you guys still haven't cashed out a check. So I definitely want you guys to listen in on that. And when I spoke to this gentleman, he was basically saying, well, everybody still needs to do what they need to do and go work out something in writing with their landlord. And that's kind of suspicious. You know, that's not comforting to people who are totally relying on this program uh, to pay out their rent and also pay out their utilities, which, of course, they still haven't paid out anything yet. But they did clarify some things. I just wanted you guys to know that the reason why um, I decided to go ahead and also present this information because I hate presenting information to everybody and maybe you don't know about it. Maybe you don't see it in writing somewhere else. So I just didn't want you guys to think that I was making up stuff off the top of my head. But in addition to that, um, they did clarify that, yes, there is a recertification letter. I did mention that in my last video. Uh, so you don't have to sign up. Again, they are slowly weeding out people who uh, don't meet the criteria, people who have been committing fraud, because there have been a lot of landlords out there double dipping, and there are a lot of people out there being misinformed, even by their own landlords. And so uh, in addition to that, I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this four-minute clip. I'll be back after that to give you guys my uh, thoughts on this uh, particular issue because it, it did kind of raise a few eyebrows and some concerns when uh, the moratorium is ending, they're supposed to pay out, and there's, you know, like what happens during that process after that. So uh, let's go ahead and listen in, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Five pen and paper ready. Yeah, okay. Sorry, just wanted to get my pen and paper ready. All right, so you're saying if somebody already applies for housing is key, uh, you will send an extension email and they have to click on that once their current months have already been processed? Yeah, it's, on, it's called recertification under code 40. Okay. Recertification. You will get that. You don't need to make sure that you know 
you make sure you want to write it down. There's no need for another application that can disrupt the whole the, uh, I process. See. Just wait for it, and then once it comes in the, from the neighborly software mm -hmm. uh, in our from our system, then you need to respond, follow the instruction. Very simple. You don't need to fill up another application. Okay. I see. Okay, cool. So, um, also too, how does that work with the uh, moratorium ending at the end of September or October? And you, you know, even though somebody is approved and there's funds waiting, but it hasn't been paid out yet, uh, how does that work with the extension? Um, if people are uh, possibly uh, going to be evicted? Yes. Well, those guys, it, okay, the whole process of this application, the result should not be contingent. On what's gonna what's gonna happen to the moratorium? Whether it's gonna get extended, or they're gonna get approved or not? You know, because people might not get approved, okay? And the, and the moratorium might not get extended. You know, it got extended like three, I think twice already. Right, right. They might extend it. Who knows, right? That's up to the state. That's to the legislative branch and the governor. So on the whole process, like I said, this should not be contingent because some people might not get approved for the um, for the recertification. Some of them are fraud, you know. Right, right. Some of them um, they may get approved, you know, whatever reason. So the result should not be contingent. They should be paying at whatever that they need to pay. And the moratorium, they should not assume that it can get extended because it might not or it might get extended. No one knows except uh, once they, the legislature uh, start processing it and tell us we right. are now extending the... Uh, Right. No, my my question my question being is how does the moratorium possibly affect since the fact that you guys are paying out. So let's say just hypothetically somebody gets a recertification email, okay? And they're automatically approved, but they let's say for next month, 2 months from now, but the moratorium is ended and considering a lot of people have already been approved for housing is key, how does that work? considering you guys don't pay out instantly it could be paid out two or three months later uh mm -hmm. how does that work if there's a possible evictions going into effect and there's money on the books showing that there's money to be dispersed but it hasn't been dispersed yet yes well that could happen you know in that regard you uh the tenant needs to sit down with their with their, with their landlord okay i don't know it depends sometimes sometimes the landlord okay i can deal with that you have uh, you, you know, you're being approved. Sometimes the landlord will say, you know, I need you to pay right now. You know, that's going to be entirely all your decision, all that like you will. Mm -hmm. So all I will do, the state was doing is give you the funds, give the tenant as, the funds or the landlord as much as they can, as fast as they can. But outside that, the tenant has to have uh, an adult alternative of a plan uh, so that the, uh, the, the issue, I mean, the, uh, the problem would not arise. You know, you're right. September 30 might not get extended. It might take months before they get the money. Yeah, they're going to have to sit down with their landlord and, and, and discuss this. And then, you know, sometimes the landlord would allow payment. Sometimes they don't. So we, you never know. So, but that's going to be just up to the tenant for them to uh, make, uh, uh, to resolve the, the, their, uh, their issue, their arising issue, if the landlord are really adamant about um, getting paid, you know, they need to make payments. Right. Okay. Yeah, we just want. I just wanted to get clarification on that because yeah. a lot of people have questions, and I know that there's a lot yeah, of yeah. uh, landlords and people who work for tenant agencies saying, "Hey, you know, just trying to evict people automatically." But um, you know, I've done a, uh, some asked some questions and assisted some people because people seem to think that housing is key is ending at the end of September, and I've been told that it's been extended for 15 months if there's an extension, which you just pretty much confirmed. But there's just a lot of, you know, false information going around. And so, anyway, I just pretty much wanted to clear the air and let, you know, just find okay. out what options yeah. are for people. So. Exactly. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. All right. So that was pretty much some of the gist of the conversation I had with the representative from Housing is Key. And yeah, that really left me in a limbo. So that's why, again, I didn't record the entire conversation. That was just in little e excerpt, four minutes of it. But um, yeah, I mean, that really had rock me rocking my boat that you here you have a program and they aren't even sure what's going to happen 
with uh, the rent and how it's being paid out with the whole eviction moratorium coming into place. And I do know that if you are covered by housing is key, then they just can't come in and evict you. And if there is some type of process, from my understanding, you're still obligated or still under the whole 30 to 60 days. But as far as I know, they cannot evict you if you are protected by housing is key. And even if they do try to uh, evict you and you have to go to court, from my understanding, they still need to have you well, the judge will give you an opportunity to sign up for rental as assistance at that time. And one of those options would be housing is key to assist with any matters like that. Now, again, um, I definitely want to get everybody's comments or concerns. Leave me a comment in the at the uh, comment section of this particular video. Now, real estate and dealing with this entirely is really not my expertise. I am really good with obviously making phone calls and following up and assisting other individuals. But if you really want to also stay up to date in regards to housing is key, this gentleman here, uh, Christian Walsh from The Wire Associates, he has a number of videos on the particular topic and uh, he has a real estate channel and definitely keeps everybody uh, informed and up to date. He has a lot of good information here and he is really uh, in the middle. So he's not pro tenant. He's not pro landlord. He looks at all the information uh, from each side of it because he's caught in the middle. So he sees everything that's going on with the tenants and what's going on with the landlords. So he's not in really favor of both. He's just straight down the middle and a really fair, uh, good guy. I've actually talked to him a couple of times myself about some things. So, uh, again, guys, this is uh, TJ from the adventure channel. I hope everybody here has really, uh, enjoyed the information to give you guys the best possible uh, accurate information in regards to this. I will catch you all later, but, uh, yeah, this is a concern with the housing is key program. I mean, I do expect for them to pay out, obviously, but fear not. It is a 15 month program, but there are some still some gray areas and some questions about that, you know, with dealing with the landlords and the whole rental process and eviction. So again, guys, you guys all have a great day. I will catch you all later. Peace. Have a good night. Bye bye.